नमस्कार दोस्तों शिपिंग पाठशाला में एक बार फिर आपका स्वागत है वेलकम टू शिपिंग पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर डी एन मौर्या टूडे आई शेल टॉक ऑन शिप्स टर्मिनोलॉजी आई विल बी स्पीकिंग बेसिकली ऑन फाइव मेन शिप्स टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट इज द फर्स्ट वन डी डब्ल्यू टी सेकेंड जी आर टी थर्ड एन आर टी फोर्थ ड्राफ्ट फिफ्थ लोड लाइन coming to the first one dwt dwt stand for dead weight tonnage dead weight tonnage of the ship means the maximum weight ship can carry maximum weight means this does not include the weight of the ship that is the light weight you can compare with a road transport like the truck when you say a truck can have truck has a capacity of 25 tons it means truck can load 25 tons of material this does not include the weight of the truck similarly in case of ship dwt means it is the maximum weight ship can carry this does not include the weight of the ship which we call it light weight so what the ship can carry that is the cargo bunker fresh water store provision crew its baggage etc etc so all this put together is known as dead weight tonnage for the purpose of calculation you can have a displacement let us say you have got a figure of displacement of the ship which is equal to 25000 ton displacement means ship is immersed in the water and the water is displaced partially immersed in the water and water is displaced weight of the displaced water is let us say 25000 ton and let and let the weight of the light ship which we have it from the ship builder at the time of design ship builder will indicate what is the light weight of the ship if the light weight of the ship is mentioned as 5000 ton then the dwt of the ship becomes equal to total displacement that is 25000 ton minus light weight of the ship that is 5000 ton so is equal to 20000 ton so dead weight ton indicate the total weight ship can carry higher the dwt bigger is the vessel this indicates dwt also indicates the size of the ship a ship with 65000 dwt will be bigger than a ship which has got a dwt of let us say 45000 Or a ship of 85,000 DWT will be bigger than a ship of 65,000 DWT. So this is expressed in ton total, total cargo or total items, including cargo, are the total weight which the ship can carry in terms of metric ton, but does not include the weight of the ship. Is known as dead weight tonnage of the ship. Second one is GRT. GRT stand for gross registered tonnage nowadays we we call it gt gross tonnage registered word is not used so gross tonnage of the ship this indicates the total internal volume of the ship what is the volume of the ship that is the inside enclosed versus enclosed chambers enclosed hold compartments that is the inside the ship which put together all the volumes of each compartment each hold each cabin put together that become the total internal volume of the ship and this is known as grt gross registered tonnage though it is term is unit is used ton this is not ton this is not in ton this is actually in volume volume means should be always having a unit of either cubic feet or cubic meter so how this is converted into the tons 100 cubic feet is considered to be as 1 ton or 2.83 cubic meter is considered to be 1 ton let us say ship has got a grt of 15000 ton so 15000 ton it means the ship has got a internal volume which is equal to 15000 into 100 cubic feet that is 15000 into 10 is 150000 into 10 is 15 lakh it means This has got a 15 lakh cubic feet of volume inside the ship. Similarly, in case of meter, you can convert it. A ship having a 15,000 ton of GRT, 
you multiply it by you can multiply by 2.83 that becomes equal to 42450 cubic meter so though grt expressed in terms of ton but it is not ton it is actually the volume of the ship internal volume of the ship expressed in terms of ton how it is expressed it is expressed by converting 100 cubic feet of volume into 1 ton remember this reference is taken from the fresh water if you have got a fresh water to load this will be same 2.83 cubic meter means 2.83 ton but you have got a cargo of higher density let us have got a iron ore having density of 4 then this will be you can, you, the, the weight will be very very high you cannot go with the same reference so you can load more cargo if the density is less more cargo means more cargo as per volume not as per weight as per weight everything has to be limited according to dwt of the ship you cannot cross the dwt if you cross the dwt the ship is having going to have a stability problem so dwt is the criteria which decide how much cargo to be loaded so grt only just indicate the total internal volume of the ship which that volume which volume where you can load the cargo you can keep the bunker you can put the fresh water you can keep the store cabins everything all together is known as gross register tonnage total volume inside the ship the third one is nrt nrt stand for net register tonnage now they we call it nt net tonnage nrt is only talk nrt is only about the total commercial space total internal volume of the ship which is used for the commercial purpose it means where you can load the cargo where you can store the cargo this does not include the volume which is used for storage of the fuel water stores cabin etc etc purely commercial purpose so that is the nrt so nrt is more accurate figure for the shipper for the cargo owner to know how much ship can carry than the grt grt talks about the full size nrt talks about the internal volume where the cargo can be loaded so you can also say nrt is equal to grt minus internal volume used for non commercial purpose inside the ship or straight way you can say nrt is equal to total internal volume of the ship where the commercial cargo can be loaded so that is the nrt fourth one is draft draft means it is the vertical distance from the water line up to the bottom of the hull bottom of the hull means talking about the keel so what is the distance what is the part of the ship which is immersed in the water so you say vertical depth so vertical depth from the water line water line means the place where the sea water touches the ship hull so from there if you measure it the vertical distance in meter or feet up to the bottom of the hull that is the keel point that become the draft draft of the ship will vary depending upon the quantity of the cargo weight of the cargo loaded so maximum draft of the ship will be when the ship is loaded with full dwt otherwise if the cargo quantity is less cargo weight is less draft will be on the lower side so maximum quantity or maximum cargo loaded to dwt we call it laden draft or dwt draft or maximum draft of the ship draft is very important for the ships when they are going inside the port using the channel or coming out from the port because port have some limited draft especially in india when ships ships are coming from foreign country from sea from ocean there is no limitation of the draft they can have any draft and they can sail easily in the sea but when they come to the port they have to use the channel channel will have some limited draft somewhere 8 meter 10 meter 12 meter 16 meter so if the draft is something more than the channel then sometimes ship have to wait for the high tide during the high tide the water level rises and port gets one or two meter extra water that time they can bring the ship but definitely not not any ship the ship 
drop should not be very very high compared to the draft of the C channel at particular port. So that is the draft. The last one is known as last, last terminology is load line. Load line is also known as plimsoll line. It is a reference mark located on the ship's hull that indicates the maximum depth to which ship may be safely immersed. When you talk about the reference mark located on the ship's hull, you can see from outside there are two color brown and black painted on the ship. So intersection point, joining point of these two color is the generally what you call it, it is the load line mark. Load line mark touching the sea water, it means the ship has been loaded to full DWT. If the load line is not touching sea water slightly up, it means there is still possibility for the ship to carry more cargo. But ship can never be loaded below the plemasol line, below the what you call it load line. Moment the load line immerses in the sea, in the water, it means you are going, ship is going to face the danger, it is going to disturb the stability of the ship and ship sometime may tilt, sometime may even sink. So plimsoll line is the one which is stuck, which we say it is the load line mark and ship should not load beyond this particular line. It is generally meeting point of the black and brown, brown color of the painted ship from outside you can see. So these are the five main terminology used with the ship. We have just covered it, DWT, GRT, NRT, draft and load line. So with this I finish this topic. In case of any doubt, you can contact me on my email id that is dn.maurya at yahoo.com d for december n for november dot maurya m a u r y a at yahoo.com and those who have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that you can see my upcoming video soon with this i finish bye bye see you in next session